Hello, I'm John Sopel, the Pro Chancellor uh, of the University. I'm also the BBC's North America editor. Uh, the discerning amongst you will have noticed that I'm not actually in Washington DC, but Brussels. Uh, I'm traveling with President Biden on his first overseas trip. Congratulations on your degree. All you've achieved in these most difficult and testing of times. I also want to offer congratulations to your family who've probably supported you through this, your friends and the academic staff who've helped you get to where you've got to today. Your degree certificate is a badge if you like. It says you can think, it says you can reason, it says you can argue and these will be vital things as you go forward with your career. In previous graduation ceremonies I used to read Oh the Places You'll Go by Dr Seuss. Um, doesn't seem quite appropriate today. I think it's more like Oh the Places You'll Stay. Please do stay in touch with the university. We want to hear how you get on, what you're doing, and also you can tap in to other, the experiences of other graduates who will be able to share their thoughts on the pitfalls ahead and the opportunities in whatever chosen career you go into. Hello. Today we are celebrating the remarkable achievements of you, our graduates. We at the university are all very proud of you, just as I'm sure you, your family, friends and other supporters are. Graduating from one of the UK's very best universities, well within the world top 100, is no mean feat. This will have required an immense amount of hard work, dedication and resilience to get you to this point today. While we are all here to celebrate the same achievement of graduating with a Southampton degree, your individual experience of university will have been completely unique. Your studies may have allowed you to achieve levels of research and knowledge that you could have only dreamed of when you started your first year. You may have made a range of new friendships that have allowed you to better understand the world. Or you may have taken advantage of all of the opportunities of clubs, skills developments and volunteering. This will have provided new skills and experience, for example, trying your hand in the world of enterprise or dedicating your time to helping others. The global, inclusive, open nature of universities such as Southampton should have exposed you to a range of new thinking and views. I am sure you will be leaving us a very different person to the one which joined us. This is a time of your lives all about growth, adaptation, development and finding out who you truly are. I very much hope you have found out a lot about yourself and the world, as well as hopefully enjoying yourself. You are at the cusp of further change in your life, while the world has also been changing dramatically around you. The next stage of your life is beginning in extraordinary and uncertain, yet now more hopeful circumstances. The impact of the global events that have spanned the past year must not overshadow your great achievements. In fact, the whole way our community reacted and coped with the global pandemic was truly inspiring. The contribution of research intensive university society has been well demonstrated throughout the pandemic. Southampton as a university was no different with a range of fantastic projects. To highlight one, the saliva testing program was a national pathfinder. It was the most extensive testing program of any university. You'll have had to cope with changes and things you never expected to. I've been continually amazed by your resilience, creativity and drive, especially when faced with the recent challenges that you've had to deal with. I hope you're now looking forward to the future with optimism and determination even though uncertainty still exists. I want to thank you all for your fortitude and going above and beyond in helping us as a community deal with the pandemic. The friends you have made, the knowledge and skills you have worked so hard to acquire and the memories you hold dear will be with you for the rest of your lives, as will your connection with us. You are joining a new family today as a Southampton alumnus. We will be here for you so please stay in touch with us. I hope you will hold your time here very close to your heart as you embark on your next adventure. As much as I trust that Southampton has left its mark on your life, I know without doubt that you will have left your mark on our community. My heartfelt congratulations to you all again. I wish you every success for your future. We are always immensely proud to award degrees to the hardworking and dedicated students who come to study with us. It is a time of celebration, reflection, and excitement. 
Where I'm from, graduation is also called commencement, and I think that is fitting. Certainly, some things are coming to an end when a degree is completed, but in fact, so much more is beginning. I like to say that at this point, the scripted part of life has reached its end. The timetables for classes, the deadlines for assessed work, the examinations that punctuate a program of study, whatever script comes next is in the hands of the graduates to write for themselves. Whatever obligations or commitments are undertaken from now on, they are authored by each of you, individually, for yourselves. Thus, as I said, commencement is a fitting word. I want each of our graduates to both believe that and to act on it. Write your own script. It makes it that much sadder, therefore, to make these graduation remarks knowing that one of our community cannot be with us to join in our celebration of new beginnings. Darcy Coomber passed away suddenly at the end of January this year. Having taught Darcy since she arrived at Southampton, she was always impressive, not only in her dedication and hard work, but the obvious and genuine pleasure she took in the subject she chose to study. She was a part of our community, and that community is richer for having had the privilege to work with, to study with, and to befriend her. We're very sad that Darcy cannot join us in celebrating the award of her degree, and that she cannot be with her peers to look back on the joys they experienced over the past three years. And indeed, the efforts they have all made to get to this point. Darcy worked tirelessly on all of her academic work, but she was sparing no effort to show her abilities at their very best in her final year of study. And those efforts paid off. I am pleased to let you all know that Darcy is being awarded a well-earned BSc politics degree, and the University Senate has confirmed that she is awarded a first class in that degree. I am also pleased to say that in recognition of Darcy's dedication to her dissertation and to her studies, I have accepted her family's offer of a trophy that will be awarded on an annual basis to a final year politics student who shows the same dedication to their dissertation as Darcy did. The annual dissertation prize has been renamed the Darcy Coomber Undergraduate Dissertation Prize. Hello, my name is Nikos Xavidis. I am Professor of Statistical Methodology and Head of the School of Economics, Social and Political Sciences here at the University of Southampton. On behalf of my colleagues in the school, I want to offer our heartfelt congratulations to you all, our new graduates. The study of economic, social and political sciences has never been as pertinent as it is today. Our school has an international reputation for cutting-edge research addressing the major challenges society is facing today. Our academics are at the forefront of working on topics ranging from the use of data science and artificial intelligence for answering questions about crime, democratic processes, behavioural economics and population change, to topics around political theory, social policy, justice, and citizenship, to name a few. This moment marks the closing of one chapter of your life and the beginning of another, whether you decide to continue your education, start your career, or seek out a new path. Your final year has not been easy, and this is not the graduation you expected. However, among the many uncertainties we all face, lies the certainty that you will go on to make your mark. As graduates of this world-leading institution, you have been equipped with the tools society needs to solve some of its greatest challenges. Thinking like social scientists means being committed to fact-based decision-making, getting the best possible evidence and using it to draw informed decisions. We hope that your experience here has given you a keen sense of what it means to be a citizen that will actively play a part in improving the health, wealth and well-being of your communities for many years to come. 
you are now one of the 250,000 members of our Southampton alumni community. A group of people connected by the common experience of studying and growing with us. Your connection with Southampton is one for life and I hope you will make the most of the opportunity to continue learning and working with us. I want to thank you all for your hard work and valued contributions to our university community. All of us speaking to you today want to emphasize how immensely proud of you all we are for what you have accomplished during your time here with us at Southampton. And I hope you've taken some time to celebrate. I wish you all the very best for the future. Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Professor Corrado Giulietti, Head of the Department of Economics within the School of Economic, Social and Political Sciences. Pro Chancellor, I present to you the candidates from Social Sciences and I ask that you admit them to their awards. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Bachelor of Science in Accounting and Economics. Yi Meng Chen Wei Dong Anna Victoria Hartner Jiaxin Li Chang Chang Li Ubedojo Negedu Zong Wu Tian Yu Chang I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Bachelor of Science in Economics. Osamu Alman, Sebastian Henry West Andrews, Alicia Efua Anson, Somtona Ama Aniansi, Oluwuka Rede Tajuden Oliawola Bola Aileru, Zara Stephanie Boret, Archie George Brown, Yu Jun Tsao, Aikut Demirtas, Maya Marta Dobrovolska, Mihir Dodija, Cristina Georgiou, Fatin Hiliati Binti Haji. Hamza Brooke Connie Hegarty Abirami Jabalan Niketa Joshi Efrosini Cassianadu Pranjali Malahan James McNeely Annabel India Jane Ranger Lovshan Selvaraja Alexander Sharp Danais Kalistiri Piki Atsaya Sutakar Tivian Suthan Jaspret Tak Benjamin Tilling Elena Zolaki Nikolais Timiovu, Anna Uvarava, Phoebe Jade Willoughby Hennington, Esther Yekini. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Bachelor of Science in Economics and Actuarial Science. Eunice Li Feng Chu, Selina Grewal. Ella Jo Kingsbury, Busayo Adenike Irene Priscilla Salawu. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Bachelor of Science in Economics and Finance. Jing Pai, Su Hao Bao, Tian Yi Tsai, Zhou Yang Chen. Avina Teva, Arjola Jolena, 
Yue Gu. Jenna Ashley Hayton. Xiao He. Mohamed Jawad Shahan. Constantine Emilian Kromov. Mengan Li. Peyan Li. Yavor Minchev Petkov. Jiaming Sheng. Ziyu Wang. Riru Yang. Xuan Zhang. Yunchuan Zhang. Zheng Zhang. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Bachelor of Science in Economics and Management Science. Amina Ali. Andrew John Aresti. Boris Georgiev. Sasha Megahani. Wing Yan Ani Yu. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Bachelor of Science in Economics with Year in Employment. Lavania Schritter. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Master of Economics. Hannah Evans. Sami Ul Kalam. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Master of Science in the Social Sciences, Economics. Zilin Fan. Kai Chi Kuo. Chang Liu. Xinwen Liu. Yiting Wang. Jia Wei Yao. Yanni Zhu. Yu Cheng Zhu. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Master of Science in the Social Sciences, Finance and Economics. Qi He. Yang Huang. Ji Yuan Jin. Chen Fei Li. Jin Shi Tomu Juliana Sitangang Rei Sun Zishan Wang Xiaoxuan Yang Chu Yi Zhang Wei Nan Zhang Zijie Zhou I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Master of Research in Economics. Jingwen Chen. Ming Ngok Huang. I present the graduates from the Department of Economics for the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Economics. Tullio Mancini. I present the graduates from the Department of Gerontology for the award of Master of Science in Global Aging and Policy. Zishan Ahmed. Vamsi Krishna Boyangari. Derrick Cerogoni Ceburet. Nedinma Daniel Otihaga. I present the graduates from the Department of Gerontology for the award of Master of Science in the Social Sciences in Gerontology. Andrea Frederica Alcide. Priscilla Cafui Asamoha. Obiora Obumneme Chupuka. Chupenengom Joseph Egubmike. Chica Rita Ikerogi. Isaac Makponga. Chupudi Martin Ogbuekce. Chisom Ifeoma Onyekuluge, Josephine Ugochinier Ugwelobor. I present the graduates 
from the Department of Social Statistics and Demography for their award of Bachelor of Science in Population and Geography. Miriam Petz Thomas Paul Falzon Eleanor James Nelling Loxton Parth Pradip Pandia Megan Kate Riddle I present the graduates from the Department of Social Statistics and Demography for the award of Bachelor of Science in the Social Sciences in Population and Geography with a year in employment. Yasmin Samira Parekh I present the graduates from the Department of Social Statistics and Demography for the award of Master of Science in Applied Statistics. Hui Yang I present the graduates from the Department of Social Statistics and Demography for the award of Master of Science in Data Analytics for Government. Olga Krikun. I present the graduates from the Department of Social Statistics and Demography for the award of Master of Science in Social Research Methods with Applied Statistics. Ellis Laura Mean. I present the graduates from the Department of Social Statistics and Demography for the award of Master of Science in the Social Sciences in Demography. Megan Marcella Ackerman. I present the graduates from the Department of Social Statistics and Demography for the award of Master of Science in the Social Sciences in Global Health. Ajibola Toluani Ogunsola. Olli Ann Pereira. Sophie Catherine Ross. My name is Professor Marika Taylor and I'm the head of the School of Mathematical Sciences. I want to extend our warmest congratulations to all our graduates. Mathematics is perhaps the one of the most abstract of disciplines, but it's fundamental to our understanding of the world. The government recently commissioned Lord Stern to do a review of mathematics, and he concluded that mathematics has huge influence in society and on, on the economy of the society. Stern also felt that investing in mathematics was hugely exciting, it was creative, it was rewarding. And in some sense that describes what you've done over the last few years. Stern was talking about the investment of national resources, but you've invested your time in studying mathematics. And we hope that you've found it creative and rewarding. Over the last few years, there have been huge challenges, and you have risen to those challenges in an astonishing way. We hope that this will serve you well when you leave Southampton and you go into different professions. Some of you will use the abstract mathematics that you've learnt with us, but some of you will be to do completely different things that don't directly use your mathematics at all. Indeed, in 10 years' time, some of you may be working in professions that don't even exist right now. But whatever we do, whatever you do, we really hope that you use the knowledge and experiences that you, you gained at Southampton. Southampton's mathematics graduates continue to set the bar very high. Some of our students are involved in exciting things like startup companies. We have a startup company called Stardust, which is about shaping and controlling the way that users can use their data online and keep it safe. In your final year, many of you have completed projects, and these really showcase the full range of mathematics. Some of you have studied abstract number theory. Others of you have modeled the COVID-19 pandemic. We have projects going from abstract graphs to using hypergraphs to study genomic data. And have you ever wondered about how to make the perfect cup of tea? Well, one of our students has been studying exactly that. He's been using the equations of fluid dynamics to, to work out exactly how you should infuse your tea. So you can go and ask him the problem of making the perfect tea. The last year has been very difficult and this graduation is certainly not what you expected. We're immensely proud of everything that you've achieved despite these challenges. Many of you have been helping us with our year one and year two students in workshops, in tutorials, in study groups, and your support has been crucial in making sure that they succeed despite the immense difficulties. Versatility and adaptability are in some sense a hallmark of mathematics. They're also very much something that we hope to, to have in our degree and it's something that you've really shown over the last year. We hope that you'll be able to use that versatility and adaptability 
as you go out into the world. And you'll take what you learnt with us in lectures, in tutorials, or in the bar, or in the societies, so both academic and non-academic, you'll use that in whatever you do. You'll become part of our alumni community. We hope that you'll keep in touch with us, both by social media and hopefully at some point coming to see us in person. So once again, congratulations and very best wishes for your future. Hello, I'm Professor Carsten Gundlach and I'm the senior tutor in the School of Mathematical Sciences. I present the graduates for the award of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Bethany Davis Fei He Leah Holton Yintong Liu Madison Jade Lyon Hannah Smith Benjamin William Steed I present the graduates for the award of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Actuarial Science. Laila Mohammed Mostafta Abdel Fattah Peter William James Cook Lena Charlie Dennett Jung Sing Fan Aruvi Jayakanta Ming Jing Liev Matesh Nantakumaran Crystal Louise So I present a graduate for the award of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Actual Aerial Science with a year in employment. Sunita Kawa Bilku. I present the graduates for the award of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Computer Science. Ricardo Andronacci. James Stephen Ledbetter. Ryan Nicardio. Patrick Scheder Emma Jane Tarmi Chloe Young I present the graduates for the award of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Finance Caitlin Rhiannon Evans Edward William Lowe Solomon Suleiman I present the graduates for the award of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Statistics. Marzen Ahmed. Melody Claire August. Zhu Fei Li. Guanan Pei. Man En Wang. I present the Graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Operational Research, Statistics and Economics. Muhammad Redhuan Amir. Nur Afifa Binti Haji Abaye. Nurin Nabila Binti Haj Apu Baka. Muhammad Shoaib Bat. Muhammad Zaim Bin Haji Abdul Majid. Ahmad Davisi Arayan Hamdan Yilin Huang Lu Yi Liu Aparna Raja Georgia Nell Merlin Rhodes Amy May Roots I present the graduate for the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Spanish. Laura Scala. I present the graduate for the award of Bachelor of Science in Mathematical Sciences. Katrin Rosenova Manova. Zhao Hao Zhang. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Mathematics in Mathematical Physics. Yuan Sargent. I present the graduates 
for the award of Master of Mathematics in Mathematics, Operational Research, Statistics and Economics. Malvika Balram Pal, Harish Seshadri. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Mathematics. William Frederick Ewart Barry, Felix Bradley, Dion Craig, Scott Dyke, Bryony Helen Eldridge, Dimitar Georgiev, Matthew David Gibson, Oliver Nigel Kemp, Kieran Joseph McCormack, Jacob Charles Kent Slater, Isaac Walter. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Science in Actuarial Science. Sarah Alabadi, Fida Saleh Almugren, Chaimin Bang, Wuiting Huan, Luvlesh Huhundi, Ben Hui Tang. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Science in Data and Decision Analytics, Roberto Carlos Correa Liano, Mingjin Gan, Yuning Lei, Chinmei Lu, Marilia Maliali, Tanjira Onsa Savat, Milto Sava, Shui Bing Shen, Jing Wen Wang, Wei Chi Wang, Yuhan Jing, Han Ru Zhu. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Science in Operational Research. Norbert Daniel Akatrine, George Paul Chamanam, Tong Hai, Sarah Jaffa Hassan Habib Mohammed, Ratanawadi Tekavong, Mary Elizabeth Voss. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Science in Operational Research and Finance. Sitong Chen. Tan Shit Hung. Jue Wei Jiang. Wachara Chai Kai Kuan. Heng Ya Shi. Zhao Wen Te. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Science in Operational Research and Statistics. When you do. Konrad Supamit. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Science in Statistics. Zhang Rong Zhu. Zi Yang Yang. I present the graduates for the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Mathematical Sciences. Aaron Poor. Jian Shen. I present the graduate for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Hafiza Binti Zulkipli. My name is Professor Russell Bentley. I am the head of the Department of Politics and International Relations. It has been an exciting and demanding time to study, but all of our graduates, all of you, have risen to the challenges and have enriched our university community. We are proud and delighted to be members of that community with you, and I congratulate each of you. I now present the graduates from the Department of Politics and International Relations 
for the award of Bachelor of Science. Kieran Cahal Breen, Galina Mandra, and Vita Shastri. Lucy Christina Elizabeth Perry Jones. Rhea Thakrar. Jessica Sophie Buckley. Mercy Blossom Nina Kalu. Noor Ulhuda Sarfraz. Rowan Sherrod. Jessica Jane Chitty. Jack Ellis Collins. Gina Angelica Dearson Adams. Miles Edward James Holder. James Hughes. Tabitha Vera James. Emily Klein. Chang Liu. William Andrew Merritt. Abigail Emily Moyer. Iman Nadim. Samuel Pina. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Public Administration. Suwondo. Pujita Kanakam. Sweta Wulundari. I present the graduates for the award of Master of Science. Jennifer Elizabeth Caroline Clough. Adrian Donald Lee. I now present the graduates for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Youngmei Lee. Osman Karakan. Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Weber, Head of Department for Sociology, Social Policy and Criminology. As you can see, I'm all dressed up, but with nowhere to go. It's been a horrible and challenging few months for many of us. So this should be enjoyed as a very special triumph. I'm very pleased to present the graduates from the department for the award of Bachelor of Science. Cara Brimacum. Hannah Borgko. Angela Hugh Tung Chan. Molly Rose Edwards. Rian Evans. Melissa Gunther. Savannah Holloway. Benjamin James. Sharon Kimpioka Mavungu. Elizabeth Rachel McCafferty. Megan Ruth Moore. Georgina Morris. Shivani Naker. Libby Nowell. Lauren Stevens. Amanpreet Rupra. Christiana Regina Badeu. Martina Bomova. Dora Lorena Kitana. Amy Duke. Naya Grace Eastmont. Verity Harding Roberts. Minye Lee. Bertram McPhee. Chloe Neal. Lucas Pinterly. Charlotte Louise Prizman. Melissa Ipalat. Zainab Chishti. Chloe Nicole Dixon. Ellen Gladwin. Mabel Grace House. Rosie Ann Kay. Megan Matthews. Amy Roberts. Elada Tukaroglu. Daisy Kavanagh. Georgia Charlotte Cook. Jack Groom. Catherine Victoria Harwood. 
Victoria Wasco. Matilda Nancy Wilson. Beatrice Josephine Ricard. Hannah Zara Hammer. Amy Victoria Morgan. Charlotte Walton. I present the graduands for the award of Master of Science. Edit Barbantan. Sunny Yogmeya Dapper. I now present the graduands for the award Master of Science in the Social Sciences. Sebastia Koning. Yijang Wang. I present the graduands for the award of Doctor of Philosophy. Shibai Ni. Anish Joseph. Carolina Navarrete Frias. Joanne Wilkinson. Hi. Listen, I'm, I'm sure you've spent your last three or four years working toward this moment and um, years and years of slogging away and cramming for those exams and frazzling your little brains out in the process. Um, but can I just say the war is over, okay? You can come out and breathe the air. It's free. You're free again for now. All right, I don't want to distress you though. But let me just say, before you start thinking of what's the next thing, which I know we humans have a propensity for, what's next? Um, let me just say that that is really no way to live the rest of your life chasing from one thing after another. Because eventually, eventually you'll forget you were chasing and it just becomes a habit and you go from one thing to the next to the next and it becomes an addiction like anything else and not too good for your health. And eventually you'll just need higher and higher doses just to feel normal. And then you'll never feel satisfied because you're caught in this kind of craving, this endless craving, and that lies the way toward unhappiness. So at some point, it's going to be necessary to gain some insight, all right, to connect with who you really are and what you really want, what would give you satisfaction, and not just keep up with what the next person is doing or social media tells you what they're doing, which probably they're lying about. You know, everybody wants what the next person has and the next person wants what the next person has. Again, we can get into that kind of syndrome. But, you know, inside is figuring out what do you really want, okay? Not jo what job you want or how much money you want to make, but, you know, something a lot deeper. I mean, the culture, as I said, doesn't encourage that kind of thinking. It's more about doggy dog. Though, really, I've never met a dog who ate another dog, but I don't know where that came from. You know, we're meant to believe that high achievers come in first. You know, the, Darwin said uh, survival of the fittest. And so we met, we imagine these tough people at the top, you know, kind of grinding their teeth and going for the gold. But actually what Darwin meant was not the toughest. He meant the fittest are the people that cooperate the best, that work the best as a team. That's what he really meant. And then the industrialists came along and reinterpreted it so they could justify their greed. But I think Darwin was, well, he was on the right path. So the best thing is humans are at their best when they're doing teamwork, when you're working for the next person, okay? That's when we, when we bond, when we work for the next person, that's when we're happiest. And compassion is the glue. So we do need that insight, you know, understand what we really want, who we really are underneath the habits of thinking. Do you know what I mean? Let me just, this is another, thing that'll make you happy to understand those thoughts are just old recordings and I have them too. You know, I'm not good enough. I'm going to be a failure. What if everybody catches who I really am? These are just old recordings. Eventually you have to learn they're not facts. Okay. But if you believe you're not good enough, the brain will actually uh, physiologically cement in that formation. But if you believe that everything is possible, everything becomes possible. And another thing is, you know, we do as humans think in the past and the future, you know, that's what we have over animals is we can plan for the future depending on what we did in the past. But if that becomes a habit, you don't live in the present anymore. And that is another thing that makes the journey worthwhile. You know, that's why you slave for everything in your life so that you can 
taste it or see it or experience it right in the moment. You know, you don't want to hear a concert yesterday or tomorrow. You want to be there right now. I think the expression is if you ask somebody what the best time in their life is and they say now, then they've arrived. So again, insight and learning how to be present sometimes is the greatest skill and you don't need to get a degree in that. But you do have to study it and practice it because humans, you know, we have this as I said, this propensity for future thinking, past thinking, and just following what the next guy does. But if you really learn to maybe focus, stop a few times a day, you know, you have to achieve. We have to use a little bit of stress, but otherwise we just get stressed about stress, which is what the word frazzled means, stressed about stress. We start thinking, oh my God, nobody else is as stressed. I shouldn't be this stressed, blah, blah, blah. This is, we sabotage ourselves with our own thinking. But if you stop for a few minutes and think, what's going on in me right now? What am I feeling? Well, you could do it right now. What's the weather temperature inside your body? Are you happy? Are you tired? Are you sad? If you stop and kind of focus inside, it slows you down enough so that you can focus what's around you and actually get surround sound and hear what's out there. You know, enjoy your holiday rather than thinking of what you have to do next. So I hope when you go into the next stage of your life, you're focusing a little more about what really interests you, no matter what anybody else tells you. You know, I know it's tantalizing to follow the crowd, but stick to your guns. We really need to learn to cool our engines. Otherwise, it's like a car that's out of petrol. You know, what's right for you? Where is your tipping point? Really, otherwise, it's you're emptying your, your tank and then you're just grinding your wheels like a car that's caught in mud, just sinks deeper and deeper. So congratulations to the class of 2021. I can't wait to see where you all go on to, but promise me you'll try to be more present and you'll be true to yourselves. Okay? And that way lies happiness. And that's all that's worth it. Okay, thanks very much. Congratulations on gaining your degree. Everything is paid off and you deserve to celebrate all that you have achieved. When you first started your Southampton journey, it was probably a lot for you. Just another step in your education. I know that was my experience. But the more you spend time at university, the more you realise that it's about as much about the community and the people you meet as it is about what you learn, your grades and your successes. You'll be marking this moment alongside the people you've bonded, connected and collaborated with over the last few years. You'll be reflecting on the friendships and memories you've made, the nights that you've been on, and the adventures you've faced together. This step, this moment when you leave as a community after so long is intimidating, but you're all stepping outside the supportive community and into the unknown together. We've seen this last year how important it is to have a network of support. Loneliness is an epidemic, and social distancing hasn't just been about staying physically separate. It's only natural to, be want to, to want to be a part of something bigger. It's human to want to be with and connect with others. The great news is when you graduate from Southampton and move on to whatever is waiting for you, you're still a part of the community that continue to support you as you wake your way into the world. As soon as you gain your degree, you're a part of the university's alumni community, joining thousands of other Southampton graduates worldwide who are changing lives, making a difference and achieving remarkable things, all connected by their unique Southampton stories. As a fellow member of the university alumni community, I urge you to stay in touch, share your progress, celebrate your milestones with us and reach out. While you'll go all going your individual ways, you will never be too far away from another Southampton graduate, or indeed another graduate who has just finished their degree in the most unusual, unpre unpredictable and unyielding of times. Wherever you go in the world and whatever you do, we'll be right beside you as will the lifelong friends you've made during your time as a student here at Southampton. Welcome to the next exciting stage of life. I want to wish you the very best for your future, whatever it holds for you as a University of Southampton graduate. So finally, what I would like to do is do the formal legal bit of this, which is to admit you to your award in absentia. When I started speaking, you were a graduand of Southampton University. You're now a graduate. Many, many congratulations and the very best of luck for what's ahead.